Well, hello and welcome. Today we have a 2022 Winnebago. It's a Micro Mini 2306 BHS. I'm just gonna kind of zip around this one. It's a smaller unit. You do have uh, the extensions for uh, the power stabilizers right here. Moving into your pass-through. There is a solar panel on the roof, charge controller, and then of course uh, the rest of the area in here. Pretty decent sized space, so wanted to show that. Does have a power tongue jack up front, fiberglass front cap, and then uh, there is just one little slide out here. You can kind of see the solar panel up top here. That is uh, what will power this bad boy. There is this cool little door over here. Plenty of storage room. Uh, you'll see this on the inside, but that little net area is gonna hold things off. This does fold up. There is a little latch over here, so plenty of space, plenty of room. I'm gonna close this bad boy back up. Uh, this one does have a ladder on the back. Ladders have been in tight supply as of late, so it's uh, it's been tough to get a camper with one of those in. There is a little receiver on here, 150 pound rating. Um, this is kind of nifty. Don't know if that's new or not, but there are backup lights on those, so I know Jayco was doing them. I didn't realize Winnebago had that option. Decent size awning, outdoor speakers, huge off-road tires. One thing I am gonna point out is up here, all tin if you ever have a blowout you're driving through some rocks off-road i mean heck look at our parking lot we start throwing rocks it's not going to go through and rip rip up the the tire well so to speak asdell side walls of course all right moving on inside your entryway is over here and then you've got your your master bed Pretty straightforward there's a little vent over top you do have some storage in here hanging abilities that is kind of nifty there is power down over here and uh, over there 110 and USB and I'm actually gonna put this camera down now for a second hopefully I can keep it angled the right way because there's a little trick to this this is actually a Murphy bed that folds up real nice and easy. I'm not going to tuck it around too much, but then you get your couch that comes up. So I'm doing the Murphy bed a little bit better. I'm just going to leave it set like that for our purposes here today. But if you tuck it away, it'll uh, move up a little bit straighter. Windows on either side. There are, down below, really nice drawers. And then on the sides, kind of goes into the pass-through, but you got little access ports, so not really wasting any space there. Nice curtain pull, zips right around for you. And then if I uh, come over here and spin, we get into our uh, dream dinette table. And uh, what I mean by that is this right here has a little lever. You just flip it and the whole table will go up and down real easy like. Looks like we've got some nice storage here underneath. And uh, another one over here. That's kind of what that all looks like. And of course, uh, the television is over here. So if you guys would be to uh, Hold your bed up you'd be looking straight at it stereo up top and then of course some storage in here looks like you got an end to it right there uh, hidden behind this tv there's a little uh, wireless charging port so you can definitely get your cell phone going there deep storage and then of course your heat run is down below kind of spinning back around going back to your kitchen and even further back, your control panel. Flip up sink, or not sink, flip up countertop next to your sink. Huge sink well, so big farm sink, kitchen. It's all down, one piece.
piece uh, countertop, all that good stuff. This does pull down, you can use it as a sprayer. Kind of one of the nifty things you got on here. Huge drawers, nice and smooth gliding. And that's just a little access port it appears. Looks like your pump and whatnot are down in that area. Looks like your fuses and whatnots. Instead of an oven, you got a nice big drawer. And then of course your countertop. Big three burner cooktop. And uh, because you don't have an oven, you do get a convection. It's kind of how they show up. Pretty straightforward. Fridge is actually on and running. Of course, this is a 12 volt. Solar panel up top will do wonders to keep this moving for you. That's how quiet that is, guys. That's running, that fan's spinning. I don't even know if you can hear that. Uh, moving right along. This is that bottom bunk area with your storage down below and then of course the top bunk a little handle to get up all that good stuff USB right there by the light um, USB by the light back there digital thermostat hiding and then of course we get to the main bathroom only bathroom really but huge angle shower especially for a camper of this size I'm a fan of the clear doors of course and then uh, some decent sized storage. There is actually a light switch in here. And then a medicine cabinet. Is ducted AC. And of course these open, close, and spin. So you can kind of direct and maneuver things as you see fit. Towel rack. Towel storage. Really, whatever you want to put into it and then uh, you do have the vent above and the skylight above that so kind of a really nice clean unit again as everyone's been talking how have they been coming in are they are they showing up in good shape are they all beat up and you know broken I didn't see anything so we're pretty straightforward Winnebago usually does a very very good job if you look up here I mean my lights a little too bright here they even caulk this, so you can kind of see the reflection a little bit. So they do a very, very good job with what they're putting together. I have no complaints with this unit whatsoever. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, just let me know. Thanks.